In this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can rotoscope over a video or trace over a video in Adobe Flash Professional CS 5.5. One of the first things you need to do is convert your video file to an FLV file using Adobe Media Encoder. And after that, what you do is we go File Import and we're going to import a video into Adobe Flash. We want to embed the FLV file which you've encoded in something like a media encoder and then you want to browse uh, browse for the file embed the FLV in the timeline and then open it notice this video size is very small after that what you want to do is you want to and we're getting to this now we're just going to match the contents to the stage. This is HD quality, 1280 by 720 from memory. And we're going to match the contents there. Okay, now what we want to do is zoom in, control plus, and I'm going to lock this layer after I rename it. And then we're going to make a brand new layer. And this layer above, we're going to, this is our tracing layer, I'm going to press F7 and add a whole lot of blank keyframes, like so. And then basically, so we've got about a second of um, video here to trace over. And now basically what you do is you get your drawing tools and you can do whatever you like. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start tracing the outline of this character. This is some Adobe After Effects um, footage you can get. It's called Tino Rays. So I'm just tracing the outline of the character's shirt and arms and pants. And then what I'll do after this, I'll use the paint bucket tool to match one of the colors on the shirt. So you need to trace every single frame. So it might be that you just do things to the sky and leave the character alone or in this instance I'm going to trace just starting with this layer at the moment just the outline of the character and color the character in I'm only going to do two frames because this video would be very boring if you watch me do all 30 frames Later on on YouTube, I'm going to add uh, a finished video. I'm working with 45 Year 7 students, and we're going to break up uh, a music video from Fast and the Furious 7. Um, how to do and ha how do you break up videos? We'll look at out my um, video nesting tutorial on Adobe Premiere, which has just been added recently on how to break up a video in Adobe Premiere. I'm going to give each student five seconds of that video and they're going to use Adobe Flash just like the way I'm using it now to rotoscope over those, um, they have one second each, sorry I said five seconds each or say 50 frames of video each, five seconds what I'm saying, five seconds is going to be about 100 frames of video on Adobe Flash and then they'll, um, they can do whatever they like to the video. So what I'm doing now is I'm just I'm using the paint bucket tool and matching, um, choosing one of the colors and um, this one's not going to fill in, one of them's not going to fill in so I'm going to choose close large, close large gaps over in the toolbar. As you can see, the, um, you can see the first frame which is rotoscoped over there. I'm just moving the timeline. I've just hidden the video layer, that's what it looks like. Um, with no video. So eventually I'll delete the video layer and just have the top layer done. So I've just chosen close large gaps and I'm just matching the colour in the arm and painting and the back of the neck. <coughs> okay, so I've missed the belt and there's a little bit of gap above the belt. So that's the first frame done. All right, so now I'm going to go to the, the next frame and, and do it again. So it's very repetitive. 
So let's carry on. We're on frame two now, frame two of 30, and now I'm just uh, tracing over the top part of the character again, around the arms. What I'm using is just the brush tool, and as I may have shown you earlier, if you zoom in with the brush tool, you need to be really careful because the brush tool actually gets thicker. So if you if if you zoom in, use the brush tool, zoom in again, use the same brush tool without changing the thickness over in the toolbar, the brush gets thicker. So you want to stay at the same zoom to avoid that happening, or you'll get some really thick brush strokes. Yeah, so definitely avoid zooming in and out. So once again, the way I'm rotoscoping or tracing over this video is just using a brush tool, finding the lines I can see around the outside of the character's arms and shirt, and again, using the paint bucket tool, going to the paint, paint bucket palette, matching the color. Now, this, as you can see, there's two frames, or one and a half frames, rotoscoped at the moment and to export I've just been going file export as QuickTime I've found that's the best quality at the moment that I can find in Adobe Flash QuickTime or MOV the other other, other file types are just quite budget and quality that's the end of this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and I hope next time you think about rotoscoping or tracing of a video that you use Adobe Flash. I think it's a really accurate way to rotoscope. Thanks.